Hello Composers, Mike here. I am going to share with you 7 amazing automation tips in Logic Pro X right now. I will also give you a bonus tip in the end of this video. Tip 1. Snap automation points. So here I have a short strings pattern like this. Let's click on A to bring up the automation lane and let's do some automation editing on the volume lane here. Now let's say you want to snap, let's say, this point to the perfect bar line here. In fact, let's zoom in so we can see this better. Now, in the ordinary mode, you can't really snap anything like this. You need to turn on the automation snap setting, which you do here in the snap settings, right down here, snap automation, turn it to active, and now you can snap it to well, now it's in the automatic mode. You can choose bar, half bar, and so on. I usually leave it at automatic. And as you can see, if I drag left, it snaps now to the grid, like so. And if we get into the key commands for this, this is not assigned by default. So as you can see, I have chosen the key command control shift command G because the default key command for setting the ordinary snap to grid is command G. And I wanted to keep that in there. Tip 2. Select automation points. Well, of course, you can select them by simply left-clicking on a node like this, but I recommend you to get used to using the Option key for this. So simply hold down the Option key and make a selection like this, and now you have all those four points selected. Tip 3. Duplicating automation points. This is something you will do very often, and I recommend again to use the Option key to first select the points you want to duplicate. Let's say these two, so Option and Select. And then you simply left click on this and hold down the Option key and then drag, for example, to the left. And now you have a duplicate of these two automation points. Tip 4. Lock the X axis while editing automation points. So for this, you simply select a point, hold down the control key, and now if I move to the right and the left, it doesn't do anything, only up and down. And this also gives you more detailed control when you draw the y-axis like this. Tip 5. Create automation points at selection. This is an amazing automation editing feature that you should truly learn how to use. But first, let's delete all these points by holding down the Option key, draw a selection like this, and then pressing Backspace to delete them. Now, you want to use the Marquee tool, which I have as the Command tool here. Make a selection like this, and then you simply left-click in this selection here. And now that you have these points, you can simply left click on one of them and drag either down or up to make this super perfect uh, automation editing here. Tip 6. Create automation curves. So as you can see here, this automation is a straight line here. Now if you want to change this straight line into a curve, you need to use the automation curve tool. And of course you could change it here in the tool window, but I recommend you to learn the key command for this, which is Control shift And as you can see, I have the automation curve now. But first you need to select the points where you want to apply the curve. So let's say you want to change this straight line into a curve. Well, hold down the Option key, select both of these nodes, then Control shift and left-click and drag on this point here. And now if I drag up, it changes like so. And if you go to the left and right, you can form it into an S-type curve as well. Tip 7. Auto flow automation lanes. So for example, if we have this track here, now this automation lane is the volume. You could go up here and change it for pan or whatever else you have used. But you could also use the key command for this, which is command Y. This way you can flow between all automation lanes that you have created automation on. Now my bonus tip is to delete all visible automation on selected track, which means let's say you have accidentally added automation that you didn't want there. So let's say you're happy with the volume automation, but you created padding automation that you really don't want. Well, you can go up here to mix in the menu, delete automation and delete visible automation on selected track. Now that is gone. Now what you also need to learn is that there is a difference between track-based automation and region-based automation. So let's say you have accidentally recorded some sustain pedal in here, open up the piano roll editor, 
and open up the automation lane here. You can see the pedal is here, but if you check here, even with autoflow, I don't see any sustain pedal. Well, that's because we are in the track automation view. Simply left click this, change to reading automation, and now here's the sustain pedal. And now we can go up and do the same. Delete automation, delete visible automation on selected track, and it's gone. Check out my complete video series on Logic Pro X tutorials and tips here on my channel. Learn and master Logic Pro X to boost your music composition and production workflow.